still taking a ton of damage and not getting anything in return. Do he sweep? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> He's like Wolf. Uh, <laughs> can I get some resident sleepers in chat, folks? <laughs> nah, Wolf's cool. I appreciate Wolf here. I'm Jersey pilled. I know. Jersey <laughs> Wolf is sick as fuck. Ah, I don't, thank like, you. Thank right. you. Okay, validation. Oh. Good God. <laughs> <laughs> Team Fundies. Get the hell out of here. Team Eyesight here, with Wolf not really actually looking at that C4 on the platform. That's the other danger of like going... When you have a character who gets so much off of lingering hits, like these meaty nares that you really love to use as Wolf, like you've got to find ways to just resist the temptation wow. a little bit, because that's... Meaty hitboxes are prime snake trade opportunities. Oh, I love the jabs there from Bobo. Oh my god, did you just walk away and... Okay. <laughs> Just trash moving away. Ooh. All right, down smash. <laughs> not almost taking it, though. Sorry, I'm just no, I'm constantly distracted by Bobo and the player camp. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, ooh, he's just ooh. bracing for impact every time. Yeah. I love it. He's there. That's right. The Thank you. Oh, really? Right. No reaction now? When he does something good, it's like, oh, all that was work. clearly <laughs> all in it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Ooh, nice release, but this ain't Brawl. Looking for something crazy. 160 now here. Uh oh. It's like LRA is just gonna need something. All right, no C4. Oh, but these four C4 is right there. But it could explode any moment now. Damn. There we go. That's the face. That's what Kill we want to see. <laughs> Killing me. But that drop through uh, that plat drop bear was extremely telegraphed from LRA. But it's also extremely safe. Like it's the level zero, right? Yeah. You put out this back air, and if it hits, great. And if it doesn't hit. Fine, you have instant access to forward tilt or dash back or shield or all of your other trapping tools. But it hit, so you move on. All right, some great pressure there with the C4. Not aiming to kill, but just aiming to keep them in shield. Trying to set up with yet more of these backers. Another plat drop nair there and a huge punish. Short hop out of shield into that late nair. Don't know what the downer was looking for. Probably a, hurt, a high recovery early, but... You oh. let it rip either way as the damage evens up and now surpasses here on the part of LRA. Holding steady with these lasers from center stage and just trying to play the coverage game. Uh oh. All right, we got another stage bounce, but Snake is heavy. This ain't stop comes. Go for that dash attack there in the corner, but unable to find the strong hit of it. All right, unfortunately, Bobo only being able to get some stray hits here. Oh, but he cooked, he cooked that grenade so so well here, Swiss, and then the up tilt not gonna close out the stock quite yet. Great parry. Okay, actually finishing out that little jab. Very nice. It, it was uh, benefits from prior conditioning, right? We, we <laughs> saw a couple, we saw the, the jab one, two, step back. Right. Step right. back, walk yeah. back. That was yeah. a mosey back. <laughs> Just a little walk back, but then you complete the jab. You have that little timing mix up, that stagger pressure. All that's online. And the stock is taken as we go into a 0-0 zero, zero, game three last stock here. Oh, nice spot dodge there. Good punch there with the forward tilts. Oh, but here it comes. Now it's their turn to play. All right, looking for the tech chase, but at very least get some good damage there. I'm pretty sure he could have done falling nair, falling fair, falling nair dash attack, uh, but instead wanted to do like double fair to climb it off of the platform, just slightly missing the combo or misspacing the setup. Either way, please only number notations. We're looking one, two, six, five, four, seven, B. You know, we got. <laughs> oh, oh. This, the spacing, the timing. Bobo waiting for that jump in for so, so long. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished indeed. Seriously. We won't get him next time. Well, we'll get him this time. Well, next time's right now here. Assuming we can get into the. Uh, oh, we're just running it straight back to Pokemon Stadium. I'm not sure how much I agree with this, but also just check out this patience. On the right? Of Bobo. Uh, here we go. He went up, double jump. But you nice recognizing catch. recognizing the jump. The jumps came out around the same time mm -hmm. and just following the drift. Like this could very well be either I drift in, I drift away in back air, or mm -hmm. I, I follow in and up air, and like super clean stuff on the part of Bobo for just like being ready to react to the situation and just mm -hmm. follow the drift with that 50-50. I like, am keeping it clean in his head. Oh, in, of course. up air, away, back air. That was the decision. 
Worked out like a charm there for Bobo. And as this game is starting off like a charming game, getting a whole bunch of solid trades, though we fall oh, yeah. victim to the wolf combos. Yes, but unfortunately, like you said, those uh, long and lingering hits are hitting those grenades. Yeah. As uh, as I would say, Bobo is winning. Oh, nope, they, they both lost that trade. All right, one, <laughs> one stock apiece. I wonder if Wolf and Snake compared shoe sizes. Who would be bigger? Mm. Well, I don't know about the shoe sizes, but the strength of their co the, the <laughs> yeah, they're yep. they're pretty big in hearts. I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> Look, just big hit boxes go burr. You know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love the player and player cam is once again Bobo actually falling behind here in the second stock. Again, a little bit of deja vu here, Switch. We saw like Bobo have a really strong start, but then the stocks are taking about the same time, and it's LRA that was able to get you know, some uh, and get some momentum going in the following uh, in the following couple interactions. It's looking to do so right there, not getting the right spacing in order to combo that into Wolf Flash. I think he could have, but either way, like all of this damage is good damage because it's positional damage. You're forcing Snake into the corner and then punishing the cross-up. Good stuff from LR. Right, but could we see another double KO? Mm. The world may never know. We'll see right here, right now, and nope, we get the first KO from LRA starts as Bobo is on their last lock. Another double jump rising dare. The oh, that jab as an huh. anti-air was so nice from <laughs> LRA. I love that. Just a little a poke, no. and then we move on, and we get 52 off of that neutral win. Like, super clean. I mean, 60 now. Right. Oh my gosh. LRA starts just barely missing that C4. What are we going to do? Nope. Neutral neutral get attack. Get up attack there. Nikita? I think he was trying to reverse the Nikita, and that was miss inputs. It's definitely like a beer versus Nikita or beer versus Grenade or <gasps> something what? falling straight into the C4. I like the idea of that call out there, but when you're at this position as Wolf, you get to play riskless position, and instead of you're throwing out hitboxes here, it's LRA, and like Nair dash attack Jeez. is such a huge combo. Going for another Nair there off of the grenade. This is a ton of damage and a way to get Bobo back into this game. Just because LRA is just kind of being a little bit too trigger happy. All right, yep, but one up smash is going to take that into game three. <laughs> LRA are just oh, so oh, like, eh. Close. <laughs> Careful to not let some of that. Uh, yeah, so let's look at some of these replays here because, oh my gosh, did we have some clips? Oh, yeah. I mean, there was. There, there were some good ones. <laughs> I mean, this is just, this is just yeah, peak, obviously this peak first snake thought. up tilt. Like, he's <laughs> facing this way. Look at yeah. him. It's like, hmm. It hits from behind, but Explode. That <laughs> <laughs> the cool guys don't look at explosions. He just look away and up tilt. <laughs> <There was laughs> just, just gone. It disappears. <laughs> I really appreciate, though, the, the way that Wolf is so important to playing around a lot of these like general Wait, hold on oh, yeah oh, oh, what's pause, up? pause champ <laughs> <laughs> pause champ we gotta get look at this sweet right? spot back air that's gonna come in oh, no we actually yeah there it is okay. these animals. empty hops are actually pretty good oh my man's was like mm. <laughs> oh, oh the fun eye roll the, the eye roll. full eye roll <laughs> you could see the whites <laughs> dead inside uh, no time there, but I wonder how close that falling, uh, that fastball dare was to connecting before, of course, Wolf low profiled it with his up smash. Because Ooh, I do not remember. Yeah. I wish my memory was better. Yeah, something, something interesting that might need to might need to take a look at a little bit later, depending on who wins this game number three as we head into a very strong start from LRA, not trying to let the momentum he won from game number two go to waste. Ooh. I don't think that was a smart move, actually, detonating that C4. Obviously trying to put him in a better position, but he was not rolling away. Uh, it, C4 has a, surprising, a surprisingly little amount of end lag on the detonation, so maybe he thought we... He did have enough time to pull up the... to get, let the jabs go, but... Mm -hmm. LRA with the tech roll in hold shield making the appropriate punish and he eventually got the stock off of it. Bobo trying to even up the game as much as possible. Right, Fight C4 not back. quite killing, but it's back down center stage. Nikita? Nope, Mortars. Just a setup. Mortars catching that side special. All right, and the C4 is back on the same platform. Clean, clean stuff from LRA. Like, you gotta. 
you gotta start force sometimes when you have that vul invulnerability, like use as much as you can, especially against Snake, right? Like you wanna force Snake off the spot, you wanna start detonating some of these grenades, like use every advantage you have. And I do think that this was the right choice to bring LRA Star to, especially because there's less ground to control. I always wonder, like, how much, how much does a grenade trade benefit Snake? Usually it's a ton, but in that particular instance, right, you down smash the grenade, and the explosion was too far away for Snake to actually get a reliable follow-up. So the down smash pressure was effectively at the cost of 10%, which the the trades kind of take. The trades only really work when Snake is below in percentage. It's usually just because Snake is like a heavier character Fair, where you can right. take those trades. It's like, oh yeah, I can afford 10% here. You can't. You're Wolf, you're Fox, you're anybody else but me. Yeah, seen plenty of that weight coming into Toe here, Swiss, as Bobo is surviving at 182. Yeah, but that's C4, yep. Bobo making the right call there. It was close to killing him. Bobo just touching their face, oh, pinching God. their eyebrows. The lowest of falling up there. Super nice. I've been loving LRA's like, flat drop aerials. Like They have been super clean and mixing up just which ones he uses each time between nares, bears, up bears, and everything in between. Absolutely. And Bobo just letting these grenades rip one after another, waiting in shield very patiently with a lot of them. Just waiting for LRA start to approach and getting some great conversions. Able to get back to stage just in time. Oh, he gave up the roll a little bit late oh, and no! didn't track the C4. LRA having... I didn't even notice it was there. God. There's, that's like the that's the snake timing mix-up, right? Where yeah. Bobo, such a, a fast trigger on the C4, mm -hmm. will really like cover the stage in different positions, detonate it at uh, seemingly very frequent intervals. But that C4 was there in center stage. Right, and he jumped straight into it. Yeah, He's like, it's I right got over, this. It's right over there. It was there for from, I think, like 415, 420. It was there. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> it yeah, was, yeah, it yeah. was there for like a hot minute. Mm -hmm. And just, all right, this is my center stage coverage. I'm now allowed to play up. I'm now allowed to play with my frame data while you're at 113. I'm allowed to like threaten grab and like I'm threaten grab mix up, threaten grenade follow ups, mm -hmm. threaten all of this space while you're over, while C4 covers my back. Exactly. And hey, even if he didn't jump into it and double jumped, at least he would have caught like a little bit of that explosion. Right. Possibly. Yeah, you, like you're able to get clipped by even if it's not closing out the stock, but mm -hmm. you always you always want C4 to close out the stock. Of course, yeah. it's cool, it's That's... flashy, and that little freeze frame right there, where it's like you're just as surprised as like the other player. It's great. Yeah, that's your legs get taken off you. It's like you know, <laughs> feel, feels good as it is Bobo running it back from their.